Bro, that's a that's a nasty spill, my guy. What's going on? I'm doing all right, man. I'm doing all right. I seen uh I see your pictures on uh, on IG, man. You you told me that it it wasn't a trucking related, but bro, what happened? No, I was at my aunt's uh, for Christmas and stuff downstairs and the garage and couldn't really see and tripped over them and there's nothing to grab onto and just landed wrong and totally screwed it up. So yeah. So. Is, is that the is that like the same leg with two different injuries or both legs with with yeah. different injuries? Yeah, that's the same leg. Yep. Oh, that's the same leg, that's, uh -huh. and it's injured on both sides. Yep, both sides. Yep. Ouch. I have to put in two plates and a bunch of screws. How long that's going to take to heal? Uh, a while. It's my next uh, appointment is. February 22nd, non-weight bearing pretty much until then for now. Man, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that happened to you, man. How many staples is in your is, is in your leg altogether? 37. 37? Yep. I, oh, I, yeah. I would imagine you was up under anesthesia when they was doing all of that, right? No, no. No? no it, it didn't hurt bad actually it's almost just like a little because in that area now if they were like in, on your head where there wasn't a whole lot of skin there it hurt a lot more so you was so you but, wasn't you you wasn't up under anesthesia you was local you 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 saw the work that was being done on your on your leg oh no no only, only when they took the staples out the surgery yeah i was under anesthesia Okay. Yeah. I, will, I will hope so, my guy. I will hope so, man. So now you, you're not sure how long the recovery is going to be. With you. Are you able, once you get recovered, are you able to go back driving? Or is that going to put a hinder on your yeah. on your ability? No. Once I'm, once I'm released, I'll be able to go back to driving. Wow, Kev, man. That's, man, I'm sorry that happened to you, man. So... Did you have insurance? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you're a company driver still? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. The last time we talked, uh, did we mention where you worked at the last time we talked? Yeah. I was, last time we talked, I was working for the um, wheel trans oh. out of Springfield. Oh, okay. Okay. You Are you still with them or no? Oh, no. No, no. I've been away from them for a couple of years now. God damn, Kev, it's been that long since, a, uh, since the last time we talked? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Wow. Been, I'm with a uh, smaller company doing regional running Hopper Bottom. Okay, Hopper Bottom. Okay. What I, I, I talked yeah. to uh, I talked to a company named Folt, Folt's, F-L-O-T-Z. Folt. Yeah, Folt's out of, Yeah. I'm not sure where they, I, I, I want to say they're out of Texas. Um, yeah, 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 out of Minnesota. And they uh, run Hopper Bottom. As a matter of fact, the evil the the evil conglomerate is running Hopper Bottom now, bro. That that's prime. They they started a Hopper Bottom yeah, division. I have seen that. So their stuff is it's very limited. It's probably doing contract stuff with Nestle Purina. Um, it's Indiana, Illinois, Tennessee. They're trying to get their hands and everything else, but it's going to be a learning curve for them. It's, it's a whole. You you don't you don't think Go that's ahead. gonna you don't think that's gonna interfere with with any of you guys that's actually making money because a lot of a lot of people really. a lot of people think that well, they're gonna undercut a lot of people. Yeah, I mean, if you're strictly doing low board stuff, true, but. At least for company I'm with, where uh, we have too many direct contracts, contracts with farmers, other contracts where we're not hurting as much. But if somebody were to go get a hopper bottom and they'd be strictly on the low board, they might get some leftover stuff from like JB Hunt or or Prime, but. So Hopper Bottom, man, how how did you uh, what what made you go into uh, going to doing that? Uh, to be honest, I got real. I just got tired of dealing with the uh, some of the shippers and receivers, uh, the attitudes, and the extremely long wait times. 
at the Palm Reefer, and I had a friend that was doing hopper bottom, and he kind of told me how it was. So went and worked for a company out of Nebraska. I'm pulling hopper bottom over the road. Did that for a year and really liked it. It was kind of did my own thing and not a whole lot of microman, not as much as micromanagement going on. I decided to go regional, a little bit more work, but I feel better at the end of the day. So no more bumping dots no more. It's pretty much going up under the grain machine, let the grain machine uh, load y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm going to assume the way you get guys get loaded is that y'all start at Y'all start at the top and then y'all slowly move to the end until it gets to a certain level? Yeah, so yeah, in your hopper, there's a front and a back, and they got slopes on them. So you start in the front, and some places you got a loader that's actually up above. They're telling you to move either by a horn or by the radio, and they just load from front to back, and you got gauges i tell you low low gauges a mice set up that i got i like twenty four thousand for an hopper and then i'll load like 28 in the back so so do you do you guys uh do you guys got it well you're a truck i'm assuming y'all got to go through the scale house but the the hopper bottom trailers do 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 the tandems move or do y'all have to have a certain weight or y'all pretty no. good or what no they're uh the Considered a tandem. It's kind of like a tanker where your tandems are all in the rear. They're set in place. So you're loading based off of gauges and some scales you can do and you can kind of axle weigh it. But yeah, we're still, we still got to follow the 34, 34, 12 rule. So if oh, you're okay. too much in, you're either getting a ticket or uh, in Oklahoma, they call it. You're done with OCC, and they'll give you a bond if you're over 400. Um, but if they make you move it, you got to crawl up in there with a shovel and shovel it towards whatever side's over, not as heavy. Yep, unfortunately. Wow. Now, if you got a spread, you can do 40,000 on the on the back. Okay, okay. So you guys going to have to seriously get in there and do some work. Did you actually had to do that at any point? Um, I wish I could say I haven't done have to do that, but yes, I did have to do that once. But basically, it was in Iowa last year, and I was loaded to the bricks. I was 700 pounds over on my trailer, and they said if I didn't get a ticket, so they said if I moved, 300 pounds, then they get away with just a uh, herbal warning. So, so I have to crawl up in there and shovel about three, 400 pounds from the back to the front. How long did it take you to, to shovel that? Oh, it took me about half, 20, 20, 30 minutes. Not too bad. Oh, okay. It wasn't too bad. All right. So on pickups, uh, you guys pick it up. That's how you guys get loaded. But on deliveries, everything will come from, will empty out from the bottom, right? Yeah. Yep. So is there, do you, so, I mean, I've seen them, I, I've seen people unload, but do you have to, you have to move the truck any, or you just be stationary and just let the stuff unload that way? So it depends if they have a pit or not. It'll just pull up to the pit, unload the front, and then pull up some of your uh, feed lots. While your feedlots, dairy farms, they don't have a pit. They have what's called a Tamani barn. You'll back up as far as you can. And then you'll open the, unload the back first and pull forward and just make a line. And they got a front end loader that puts it in its right area. Because if you don't do the front, the back first, and you do the front, you'll end up getting stuck. So that's not a fun experience. Okay. 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 And how long have you been doing Hopper Bottom now? For what? A couple of years now, right? Yep, two years. Two years now. So, so the uh, you guys, how do you guys get paid? You 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 still get paid the normal way, cent per mile, or do you get paid extra? No. How how do you get paid now? So, like every company is different. Some companies 
they just like while while you're fully over the road companies are going to pay you more per mile for especially for a longer run but like for us and a lot of companies that are more say in midwest it's percentage so i get paid 27 percent of the load as a company driver so everything gets in hopper is usually paid by the bushel or by the ton so the more you can haul the more you make i'm not trying to be nosy on how much you you take it home but what is the average pay um gross or take home let's go with take home because a lot of people love love with the gross so what would what's the average take home pay for a hopper driver i'll go with the take home i will say i only do work four and a half days a week so this i'm not out for two three weeks um so i'm regional my average is 1500 a week take home work going out monday and being back midday friday okay okay so. and, and you're home over the weekend right yep home home pretty much every weekend i think there's only been two weekends i wasn't able to get home now is it is it set like once you deliver do you got to clean out the truck or clean out the trailer for the next delivery or is it preloaded or do you just run back and uh, forth to the same place every day no so it's, it, and that depends too sometimes you have like if you got wheat, wheat or soybeans or corn you might that's might what you'd be doing for the day example taking wheat from wichita to kansas city if that's the case i don't really got to do a clean out but most of the time it's a clean sweep um a lot of guys what they'll do is they'll once they get empty they'll crack open the trap doors let a little air through not all the way because you don't want that blowing all over getting in somebody other vehicles and but it'll basically blow the stuff to the bottom but then all you got to do is open when you're parked somewhere and sweep it up the proper way some products won't do that so you actually got to go up in there and sweep it out and then there are other products where you do have to get a washout thing that sucks about a washout that unlike a reefer you can just go to a blue beacon can't do that in a hopper bottom most blue beacons won't wash out a hopper except for the waters. One in um, South Dakota and there's one in Council Bluffs, Iowa. They don't have the safety equipment to get up in there. But there's a site on bulk loads. They got a list of all the hopper washouts. Anytime you're going from a non-ruminant to ruminant, back and forth, you basically need a washout. So. so hopper bottom uh positions i talked to uh maybe three drivers and including yourself you you just mentioned that you had a buddy so it's it's basically you have to know somebody to know somebody to know somebody to get in the hopper bottom would you would you agree on my it, take on that well kind of it helps it ain't like that as much anymore there's bigger companies out there that you could get your foot in the door and get some experience and then go to a, let's say, smaller company with more on tracks and negotiations with farmers and stuff. But a couple of years ago, it was still kind of like that. Not as much anymore. Well, Big Kev, I appreciate the time, man. Thank you very much. And, uh, and yeah, man, yeah, get well. I, I've seen the... Oh, yeah. I seen the pictures and I was like, oh my God, what happened to my guy? And I was like, I... I didn't realize I haven't spoke to you in a while, so this is a good catch-up, man. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'll definitely, definitely taking it one one day at a time. So we'll be back before we know it. Yeah, you will. So. You you bounce back, bro. Happy New Year and all that good stuff, man. And yeah, you you'll definitely bounce back, my guy. Uh, in too deep, like Omar. Make me wanna track you down and hit the track hawk with the crowbar. I knew we wouldn't go far, like we ran out of ethanol. Now your nosy ass mama wanna get involved. When I met you, you was on the couch with the plastic. She need an Emmy, bitch so dramatic. Now your baggage got me on edge like jagged. Fucking up my homes, look Patrick. You swift to jump shift like a chief. Been crying on my line like Therese. But it ain't all you, it's me. 
Blame it on the things I went through.